record. So today we're going to look at this text, Le Noël Denier. So last Christmas, you can find the document on PowerSchool. You choose which one you open, Google Doc or Kami. Um, you're going to annotate on it and we're going to do it all together in class today. So by the end of class, you're going to hear some sentences and you're going to write and fill in the gaps. It's, it's a write, but it's actually just fill in the gaps. So it's writing words, not whole sentences, um, to narrate Le Noël Denier. So this is really focusing now on the past tense. We've been focused on celebrations and past tense, and that's been our whole unit theme. And we're coming to the end now of the unit, and we are close to Christmas. Christmas is a culturally appropriate celebration for French culture and Francophone culture. So um, we're going to focus on one text today. So to prepare myself for what we are going to be reading, there are some unique vocabulary for this celebration on Le Noël vocab uh, Denier, Le Noël. So I want you to have a little look and see, see you know the answers, but maybe everybody else does too or not. But um, I want you to have a little look. I'm going to read them to you. And then you are going to indique, indicate, indicate with your annotate tools, which image you think it is. So let me read them out first. We have la veille de Noël, les champs de Noël, le sapin de Noël, le père Noël, la bouche de Noël, et les jeux de plateau. So using your tools, you can either use a line or you can just click on a, a stamp and check the image that I'm talking about. I want you to tell me what you think, which one it matches up to. And that'll help you then when we come to read the text, you'll be like, oh yeah, 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 I, I know what that is. And on the bottom of your text, actually on the second page, you have all of this, so you can do it, you can do it along with us, so you can check. Okay, Anio, class, what do we think? Le Père Noël. Qu'est-ce que c'est le Père Noël? Qu'est-ce que c'est le Père Noël? Indiquez l'image. Oh, Achille pense que ça c'est le Père Noël. Ok, très bien. Qui est là, ça? Oui, très bien. Ok, super, oui, ça c'est le Père Noël. Et en français, le Père, c'est Father in Noël Christmas. So the French don't really call him Santa Claus. It's called Father Christmas, le Père Noël. Ça c'est le Père Noël. Très bien. Ok, classe, numéro 2, le sapin de Noël. Le sapin ou le sapin de Noël. OK. Très bien. Oui. Oh, class, vous êtes intelligent. Le sapin de Noël. You've seen that maybe once or twice. So le sapin is a certain type of tree, so Christmas tree. Le sapin de Noël. Merci. OK, class, on continue avec les champs de Noël. Les champs de Noël. Qu'est-ce que c'est les champs de Noël? Hmm. Décision, décision. Est-ce que c'est cette image ou cette image? Taeyong a changé. <laughs> oui, c'est ça. Oui, les chants de Noël, c'est cette image. Parce que chant, c'est chanter, chanter. Et ils chantent, la, 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 la. Les chants de Noël, par exemple, Jingle Bells, c'est un chant de Noël. We Three Kings, c'est un chant de Noël. Très bien. OK. Euh, les jeux de plateau. Qu'est-ce que c'est les jeux de plateau? OK. Oui. Très bien, classe. C'est ça. Les jeux de plateau. Excellent. Par exemple, Monopoly, Battleship, sorry, Clue, ils sont les jeux de plateau. Et j'ai dit que j'adore jouer les jeux de plateau. Super. OK, we have deux, 
la veille de Noël et la bûche de Noël. So let's do la veille de Noël. Qu'est-ce que c'est la veille de Noël? Est-ce que c'est cette image ou cette image? Oh, il y a une différence, il y a un débat. Okay. Oui, la veille de Noël, c'est Christmas Eve. Oui. Très bien. La veille, this word veille means Eve. So we could use it for anything. It means the day before. So the Eve of Christmas, the Eve of Christmas. La veille de Noël. Alors, la dernière, c'est la bûche de Noël, c'est cette image. Et classe, la bûche de Noël, c'est un gâteau. C'est un gâteau au chocolat. Et c'est un gâteau au chocolat roulé, roulé, roulé. So, um, it's always rolled up and it looks like a log, a Christmas log. So, this is literally what it means, Christmas log. So you basically have like chocolate. Has anybody ever had bouche de Noël, a, a Christmas log, like a chocolate log? Just give me a thumbs up. <laughs> I don't see any thumbs up, so nobody has. You are missing out. This is très délicieux. Um, it is basically like chocolate sponge with chocolate frosting, and then it's rolled up. So it's like a giant roll. And then you put more chocolate frosting around the outside and kind of score it with a fork so that it looks like Um, textured like a log and then obviously you can finish it with like holly and stuff um, but it's it's traditional to have at Christmas time la bouche de noël um, okay très bien so you will see all of those featured in the text for today and now you'll know what they mean okay super je vais effacer et classe nous allons faire Uh, les activités avec le texte, and we're going to break down the text in different ways. So the first thing is lire le texte et penser, think, penser, des réponses possibles. So I'm going to give you a chance to just firstly pull up your own copy in front of you. you I mean, you can have it on my screen also or your own and just listen to my voice. Um, where's the enlarge? Nope. That's not it. Um, oh, no, it's over here. <laughs> so make it. So I want you to just read the text, lay the text, le Noël dernier. And then today's text, like I said, is focused a little bit more on the passé composé. So each of the blanks that I've created are um, and highlighted have a verb next to it. And that's the verb, that's the action which we want to use in the past tense. So firstly, I'm going to give you a couple minutes just by yourself to read through the text as much as you can and think about, if you can, how you would change, how you would use this verb and put it and type it out. Now you're going to listen to it. So I'm going to read the text to you and you're going to fill in the gap that way. But before we read, before we listen, it's good sometimes to be able to read and process and think what might go in the gap. And if you feel confident, you can put it in there or you can just wait until we do it together. All right. So I'm going to mute myself. You've got two minutes just to read through the text at your own pace and think about um, how you would, what you might put in those gaps.
Okay, class. So I want you to um, do this next part with me a little bit, and then we're going to listen, listen to the text. So I want you to make sure that you can see the screen that I'm sharing. And then also use the chat function. So let me pull up the chat as well. All right, so we're going to read it and then you're going to get a chance to fill in the gaps. But maybe were any of you able to fill in any of the gaps? Like you think maybe you're like 80% sure what might go in at least one of the gaps. Just give me a thumbs up. Okay, Christian. Okay. All right, Christian. Do you wanna oh hey Colin? Okay, très bien. Okay, Christian, do you wanna tell us uh one of the gaps that you think you would you might know? You can either unmute yourself and tell us or just type it in, whatever. And same for you, Colin. The problem with typing in a chat is there's no accents. <laughs> okay, that's fine, Christian. Colin, why don't you unmute yourself and tell us one of them that you think that you would have put. Don't be shy. All right, well, that's fine. Let's just move on to the reading. So I'm going to read the text to you. Okay, thanks, Colin. I didn't realize you were typing. Okay. Oh, and Lexus chimed in too. Okay, yeah, you're right. The first one is past day, like that. Is it past day, like that? Or, oh, look at how it's making a correction for me. Do we think Google's right? on this occasion? We, oui, it is, it has to have the accent on it right there. And that's what we need to remember about the passé composé, is that this has to have an accent. J'ai passé, j'ai passé. Okay, wonderful. So you can go ahead and type that in for your own as well. You can make that change here and add in passé. And if you are doing it on the Google Doc, it will probably give you that same option as soon as you type it in. It'll squiggly underline it and make you make it if, you're, if your documentation's all in French. Um, if not, then you know how to add in accents by now. All right. So we've got our first one, Merci. <laughs> okay, Colin, I even see your second response about Shanti. All right, so we're gonna, you're not quite right, Anna. You've got the idea of how to, to change it, but these are all in the past tense. Um, so it's not Shanton. So let's listen. And then as you're listening to me, I'm gonna read this text through a couple of times. And I want you to type in a response, um, a response. I want you to type in um, how you think that word is written, how it's gonna change, okay? So, on you go. Let's find the annotate this. Okay. Noël Denier, j'ai passé du temps avec ma famille. La veille de Noël, nous sommes allés à l'église et nous avons chanté Les Chants de Noël. Après l'église, nous sommes allés à une fête de Noël 
Shema dance. Elle a invité beaucoup de personnes. Il y avait beaucoup de choses à manger. J'ai trop mangé. Nous sommes partis vers onze heures le soir. Le jour de Noël, il neigeait. C'était super. J'ai fait une promenade avec Joshua et John. Après, j'ai ouvert les cadeaux de Noël. Joshua a reçu beaucoup de cadeaux du Père Noël. L'après-midi, j'ai regardé les films festifs et j'ai mangé la bouche de Noël. Le soir, nous avons joué au jeu de plateau. J'ai passé un super bon Noël. OK. Je vais répéter deuxième fois. Alors, écoutez. Continuez à écouter et continuez à écrire. So continue to, to type in the, in the gaps what you think goes in there. Don't worry if you have many empty or, or a few empty or whatever. We're going to listen one more time. Écoutez une fois encore. Noël dernier, j'ai passé du temps avec ma famille. La veille de Noël, nous sommes allés à l'église et nous avons chanté les chants de Noël. Après l'église, nous sommes allés à une fête de Noël chez ma tante. Elle a invité beaucoup de personnes. Il y avait beaucoup de choses à manger. J'ai trop mangé. Nous sommes partis vers 11 heures le soir. Le jour de Noël, il neigeait. C'était super. J'ai fait une promenade avec Joshua et John. Après, j'ai ouvert les cadeaux de Noël. Joshua a reçu beaucoup de cadeaux du Père Noël. L'après-midi, j'ai regardé les films festifs et j'ai mangé la bouche de Noël. Le soir, 
nous avons joué au jeu de plateau. J'ai passé un super bon Noël. Okay, class. Hello. We're going to, um, before we go through it one more time and go through our responses, I want to give you guys an opportunity to check with each other. So I'm actually going to put you into breakout groups right now. And in your breakout groups, you can screen share. So in your group, choose one person. It can be the person with the most gaps filled or the least gaps filled or whatever. Um, to screen share and then with each other go through and see if you can help each other to fill in um, as many of the gaps that you heard collectively. Okay, so I'm going to leave you in your breakout groups for like two or three minutes, so not a super long amount of time. And then when you come back, we'll go through the answers together. So try, try and do as much as you can. Yeah, and I'm going to put you in so that there's three of you in a room. Ooh. Okay, that looks good. Bye. Okay, bonjour and welcome back. So I'm um, sorry if I interrupted you while you were still going through stuff, but I just want to keep an eye on time and make sure that we can go through these answers together. So hopefully Keita and Colin will come back and join us. Okay, wonderful. So um, as we go through, you can have this screen up in front of you so you can see the answers and then have your screen up alongside it next, your document up alongside it too, so that you can check, make sure it's okay, or you can make any changes that you need to. And if any gaps aren't filled, you can fill them in as we go. So then I don't, you know, it's not for a grade, it's just so that you can see how the French is, is spelled. So we did that first sentence at the beginning, wonderful. So I'm going to read and write as we go. La veille de Noël, nous sommes allés à l'église. Allez. C'est comme ça. Allez. So allez has the accent aigu. Nous sommes allés. It's the same sound. Allez, allez. And we have an S here because even though you can't hear the S, it's new. We. Oui. So it's more than one person. So for this verb, we actually also have the S. So go ahead and add that in if you didn't get that one. Et nous avons chanté les chants de Noël. And chanté also has the accent. So we're seeing a pattern. J'ai passé, allé, chanté les chants de Noël. Après l'église, nous sommes allés. So we've got a repetition over here. Nous sommes allés. Nous sommes allés à une fête de Noël chez ma tante. Elle a invité beaucoup de personnes. Alors, invité is with that accent right there. So we need elle a invité. Il y avait beaucoup de choses à manger. J'ai trop mangé. Manger avec accent aigu, accent aigu, j'ai trop mangé. Trop means too much, so I ate too much. Didn't just eat a lot or a little, or I ate, I ate too much, j'ai trop mangé. Nous sommes partis vers 11 heures le soir. So party is spelled like this, party, so it's an I sounding ending, it's not an E accent. It's an I, party, because this one is an I, or verb, partir. 
So remember, when it's the past tense, it ends in an I, I also am adding an S because it's new. Le jour de Noël, il neigeait. C'était super. J'ai fait une promenade. So j'ai fait une promenade avec Joshua et John. So fait here, F-A-I-T. Après, j'ai ouvert les cadeaux de Noël. J'ai ouvert les cadeaux de Noël. Joshua a reçu beaucoup de cadeaux du Père Noël. So if, it, if I'm talking using the past tense with me, it's j'ai. If I'm talking about somebody else, it's a. J'ai and Joshua a. All right, so let's bear that in mind. With the J, we're going to see this repetition. L'après-midi, j'ai regardé. J'ai regardé un accent aigu. Les films festifs. Et j'ai mangé. Which is what we saw earlier in the text. Et j'ai mangé la bouche de Noël. Le soir, nous avons joué au jeu de plateau. Au jeu de plateau. J'ai passé un super bon Noël. OK. So, class... I'm going to leave this on the screen a little bit longer in case you need to. I'm going to just bring it down a little bit so you can see the whole text. OK, um, so you can continue to complete yours and copy yours as you need to. Um, and then you are going to save this text and keep it in your documents so that you can go back and read it over and um, check anything that you don't understand. So from today, how do you feel like you did with completing the, the gaps? Do you feel pretty confident with it? Not 100%, like, but pretty confident with it. So, so, or you were like, no idea what's going on. Oh, and I can't see because <laughs> you, can, you can't do this on the screen. So um, just tell me in the chat how you feel, how you felt about the, um, at the end after reviewing it several times. Do you feel like pretty good, all right, or not so good? Okay. Messy CC, da, messy Nessa. Okay, and it's your it's your opinion, so don't feel bad if you're like didn't understand it. Shayla, I see your checks up there, Messy. Okay, 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 excellent. Okay, good. Okay. On and off good and some in some areas. Okay, wonderful. So um, this is basically what you see in front of you is a summation of what we've been learning. And the past passé composé, this this using j passé and knowing whether to put an accent or an s or whatever, this is complicated grammar. That's why we look at it throughout the whole year. Um, that's why we review it again and look at it again in French three. Um, so don't feel like you have to have had it nailed right now. Um, just feeling pretty good about this right today is a good sign um, that you can, the big thing that I want you to see is if I come down to Jay Regarde, that you recognize that in the passé composé, you need to have the, the je, the avoir, the a, and then you need to have this three parts. You need to have your third part, which is the verb that tells you what the action is. And most of the time it's with an E accent, but not all the time because we have some of the verbs end in I or U. Okay, so um, thank you for your participation today. Let me go back, just check. Yeah, we've gone through everything. I'm gonna, um, like, like I said, this is gonna feature in your final next week in some way, either through listening or reading or something. So your contributions and your hard work today is gonna pay off 
um, to next week as well. So just um, tomorrow when you come into class, we will do a little bit more review on some of these areas and I'm gonna give you some independent study time as well tomorrow, so. Um, au revoir class. Merci pour aujourd'hui. À demain.